I'm Steph, and today we're going to play Calico. I am just going to do a simple rules teach and playthrough of a solo game uh, of Calico. And so if you love cats as much as I do, then uh, this game will be for you. No, it's just fairly abstract. And the theme is not really there, but I simply love the look of this game anyway, because um, Beth Sobel's art is phenomenal. And uh, I always love cats, so even with the theme of cats, it, you know, you have these little cat tokens that are, like, adorable and, like, so cute and so much fun. So, uh, I'm, I'm excited that, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, it just came in. I just got this game just, like, yesterday or something, and so I'm like, oh, I've been, I've been wanting to play it again. I, play, I played it for the first time at Origins last year, which seems like forever ago at this point. And it was in prototype form, and then it hit Kickstarter, did really well on Kickstarter. And then um, Flat Out Games partnered with AEG to, to, to you know to bring it to us, um, in the general public. So <laughs> I'm excited that AEG decided uh, to pick it up. It comes with this amazing bag. It says Calico on it. I love this bag. Um, not every game comes with a cool bag, but it's really great because you have to pull out tiles every round. And so all these juicy tiles, the juicy tiles. I love the art. Yeah. The art is phenomenal. Um, Beth Sobel and her she knows, she really knows her cats. Let's just say that much. So let me, uh, get over to the screen. Hey, we're working. It's always, it's always, it's a good day when things work, right? <laughs> um, all the tiles go spilling everywhere. I just want to make sure I get it all right, uh, with the setup. I will be playing a scenario, uh, that's in the rules here. So at the back of the rules, you can, uh, learn about all the cool cats that are in the game that are featured in this game as little tokens and everything. Uh, so if you want to know more about Millie, we are playing with Millie, Coconut, and Tibbet. In case you're wondering, these are the cats in our game today. And uh, before that, in the rules, you will find these um, scenarios. So every scenario will suggest which cats to use and what your goals are and how many points you'll need in order to win the scenario. Um, so you can play this as a solo mode or you can play a cooperative, um, I mean, in a competitive game where multiple people are trying to also go for these same goals and, uh, see how well you do. And so we have, um, these three cats that are specific to the scenario one. We have these three starting goals on our board. Um, and, uh, the goal is to get 58 points and to collect a rainbow button. So... Obviously, I want the rainbow button anyway because it's a rainbow and that's kind of my thing. I love the rainbows. I expect to see lots of rainbow emotes in the chat. <laughs> my phone is way over there and my keyboard's way over there and I can't do it from here. So, just do it. <laughs> pause pan? Pause pan? Pause pan? What's pause pan? Is that, is that a cat? I don't know what pause pan means. <laughs> Rainbow button. Yeah! You got all these, like, little buttons here. You see the rainbow one? They're so cute! I love them. Thank you. I appreciate the rainbow. At least one person listens to me. Thanks, Charlotte. <laughs> um, okay, so for the solo mode, we're gonna have a lineup of tiles. And let me just make sure I get the number of tiles in the lineup correct. I think it's four, but it's been a week since I played or something. So, okay, so H. H has three reveal, three patch tiles, so only three. Only three tiles in lineup, so I was wrong. So there's three tiles in lineup. We got one, two, three. Now what's cool about these tiles, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna just try and zoom in. Probably break everything in the process, but you never know. One more tick. See if it goes. I don't think I can go. So apply. Okay. Okay, so I got these tiles. They, they all have different um, patterns on them. So there's six different colors and six different patterns. And with all of that information, you're trying to collect groups of the same color and groups of the same similar patterns. And for the cats, the cats like patterns. And for the buttons, the buttons like colors. So if I get a set of three 
pink, I will get to get these pink button. All the buttons are worth three points at the end of the game. And all of these scoring things on our board are worth points if we can do it. And uh, each cat that I can, you know, please, <laughs> I, I, I get points for them as well. And so they all like different things. So I guess this is the little button token here. Put it right there. Cool. So, um, yeah, this, this game is really, is really great. If you like abstract puzzly type games, uh, this is definitely one that you'll want to play because I love trying to think and puzzle out everything as I go. Um, okay. So the scenario is, is saying I need to get at least 58 points. So let's hope that I do that. There isn't much else. So as the scenarios get harder, there's more challenges like get three of the same button or get five cats or please five cats or something like that. So this is just scenario one. It's just saying get a rainbow button. What a rainbow button is, is once I've collected a button of each other color, I will get a rainbow button. It's like a bonus three points basically. So I need to get clumps of different colors, all six colors on my board in order to get um, their button and uh, then I can get the rainbow. So I need to get the rainbow button and 58 points. These tiles here on the board are mixed up and uh, revealed at the start of each game. And all players will have the same setup. So if I have these three tiles here, this is also in the scenario. It's saying I need to use these three tiles in order to play this game. And so with these tiles, you can score points. You can score points, um, a lower amount of points for doing it okay. Or you can do a the super challenging <laughs> completion of these tiles and get the higher point value. And so let me read these specific tiles. Um, I know two of them. I'm not sure on one of them because it is a the tile I'm not. Okay, so this, this tile here, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's an unequal sign on it. So I haven't played with this one. So this one's new for me. It says, it says all different colors or all different patterns. So if I get all six colors surrounding this tile and I get all six patterns surrounding this tile, I will get points. So um, if I get all the different colors or all of the different patterns, I get 10 points. But if I can do both, then I get 15 points. So it's really cool. So uh, I, I wanna be looking for a variety of colors, which is awesome. I, I like that a lot. Now this tile here is a little more challenging. This says three of the same color and three of another color or three of one pattern and three and three of another pattern. So I can do either the color or the pattern. However, if I am able to do all six tiles in two different colors, three and three and two different patterns, three and three, then I can get the higher value. So it's seven points if I just do it once. If I do it for both things, then I get 13 points. Finally, this other, this third tile right here says A, A, B, B, C, C, meaning I need three colors in twice each or three patterns twice each. Or if I do both, I can get the bigger point value and do seven and 11. You like colors? I had no idea. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Oh my goodness. Me and colors. What, what about it? <laughs> I do like colors. It's kind of my thing. So because I'm playing solo game, I I will be discarding the, uh, the tile over here. It's closest to the cats. Every round if I don't take it. So and then they slide down. Actually, I think they slide down and then I discard the one closest. When setting up for solo mode, you may use the beginning or standard setup, page four and five, follow player turn as usual, but after you choose your tile from the market, discard the tile furthest from the tile stack or bag, slide a single tile. Um, so yeah, I would discard, depending on the tile I take, I'm either gonna discard this or this. Uh, if I take the blue one, that one's gonna go away. So I need to be careful because I, if I need that tile, I need to take it, make sure it works. And so there are these cats out here. Um, I can complete as many cats as I want and they all give points. Basically the cat says, nee, 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 nee. meow, 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 meow. No, I'm just kidding. So this cat, Coconut, will give me seven points if I have five plus in a clump of one of these patterns. So 
If I can get five of this pattern on my board in a little, like, connection, so to speak, I can get coconut. I, I grab the coconut cat and place it in my supply or whatever. And uh, that'll be worth seven points at the end. So uh, I'm going to be looking to get the pattern matching and the color matching on my board as best as I can. So this would actually probably be a really good first play because I already have it on my board. And, you know, it, it's a green. It's the same color. So if I can find another green, I can get a green button. Or if I find another one of these patterns, it's not one, but I would need multiple because I need five or more of that pattern to get coconut into my scoring. So that will be my first play. Uh, so then this goes away. It doesn't go immediately back into the bag. Actually, it just goes out to the side. And then I put out the slides down. I put out two more. All right. So right, right here, I'm looking for AABBCC. So I'm going to want at least one more green and at least one more of that pattern if I can manage. None of these are available right now. This wants a variety of things. Uh, so that might be my focus last because I want all different colors and all different patterns, all sorts of things going on there. This will need more focus. So I need three of a color and three of another color. So I might want to start working on that right now. And with that being said, this, oh, so Millie needs three of a pattern. And this is one of the patterns. So I could... The, the patterns on the outside of the board actually count. So whatever patterns you see on your board, so if I take this yellow and put it here, now I have two of that pattern right here. These are the same. So I just need one more to get Millie the cat happy. Um, and so I can collect as many Millie cat tokens as I, as I make available on my board. So that's good. So that tile goes away. Two more come out. Oh, so there is this. This is actually a really great tile for me. So if I put this tile right here, not only do I fulfill Millie's requirement. Well, let's see if I can find Millie. Where is she? I've got all these cat tokens and I didn't organize them. They're all kind of like, as long as it's, so here she is. That is my cat token. It's three points. There's Millie. But also I got those three patterns and I got a yellow button. So... I usually put it on the board. If I add another yellow to this this clump of uh, patches, then I do not get another button. So I don't really want to extend my my color my color region. Let me just make sure make sure it is three because I don't want to play wrong. And I did play just a few weeks ago. Um, colors on your patch. Your buttons. It, you, the group may be any shape. I think it's just three, but it doesn't say button tokens. Okay, yeah. Oh, actually, if you expand your group to a size of six or more, yeah, you do not get another button. So don't do that. <laughs> so you just need... Yeah, you just need three. Three plus. Oh, it tells you on this little tile here, actually. I didn't even know. This tile is new to me. So it says three plus of a given color. You get these buttons. And the button is worth um, three points. So, yep, I did that right. It's just a group of three. If I add any more than that, too bad. Nothing. Nothing for you. This goes away. This slides down. Man, this is pretty fast. So this is good. I like this one. Um... I'm thinking over here to add to my group of um, that pattern and it gets another yellow. Now, I don't really need another yellow button because I already have a yellow button. I'm trying to get a rainbow button in order to complete my scenario. So, hmm, it's tricky, tricky, tricky. But that's what I'm going to do. Let's slide those down. What do I got now? Okay. So I could, so right now I'm working on two different colors here. If I add a third color, I won't want any more colors. But I already have one pattern, so that's that's actually really good. I could do, I could do this, and that gets me a green button. And that 
starts getting that. So let's get that green button, put it on the board. Rainbow button, woo woo woo. That blue tile goes away. And we get, oh, a light blue. All right, so I'm not liking this, but if I take this, it's actually good because then I can get that one in a second, which is really would be pretty good. And then I would just need a yellow line, which is, there's three of each type of tile, right? So I might not see things that I want to see, but I might see things that I want to see. And it's like, do I take that chance or not? to make sure these are really mixed up because I don't know how well I did mixing them up. Um, but I think I'm going to go for it, you know, and just see what happens. And so now this blue one goes away. That one slides down. Oh, oh, ooh. I don't need another one of those, but I could put it down there to try and work on coconut. Um... But I think I'm going to go with my original plan. That gets me a purple button. All right. So now I just need a yellow line right here. And then I'm good. Because then I would get both the color 2222 and the pattern 2222. And if I don't, then hopefully I just find at least another yellow or another line coming up. So we got that. This slides down. What do I got? What do I got? So, this is tough. I don't, I don't want to add, I want different, I want six different patterns and six different colors there. I could just throw one down here and, or I could add the blue polka dots up here. But I don't have any blue up here, so it's kind of sad. Um, I kind of like the idea of putting this blue one down here because there's a dark blue there. Hmm, this is tricky. Sure, I'll do that in hopes of getting um, coconut in the future. Uh, this one goes away, that slides down, two more come out. Oh, I want to do this. I'm going to put this one over here. Yikes. Yikes. This game goes a lot faster as a solo game. I see that. Oh my god, that's what we needed. That's what I needed right there. Not only does it get me the dark blue button, blueberry button, but it gets me Millie. Millie. Nope, it gets me coconut. Oh my god, he's so cute. Nice. Nice. And then that goes away. And uh, this one comes over there. Alright, now we're just looking for the yellow line. What else? I could get another Millie tile if I put this one out. I could, oh, but I also need that pattern over here, but I don't know if I want to dedicate pink to this challenge right now. Oh my God, but I'm running out of time. So I need to make a decision and uh, so difficult, so difficult, so difficult. I've already lost that pattern a lot in my discard pile over there. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to put this here and hopefully it's good enough. Oh, well, I could, I could go for this over here. Huh? I'll do it right there. 
So now, now I'm looking for two more pinks and one more yellow. But the next pattern could be anything. So I could take that yellow. There's a green line. We don't want green lines. I want a green line. Nope. I don't like any of these really. So let's go with this. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. No! Oh, something's going to go wrong. Either this one's going to go wrong or this one's going to go wrong. Mistakes were made. I can't, can't win them all. <laughs> Meaning I can't do all of the patterns in all the right ways. Okay, so I'm going to mess this one up. So I might as well just mess it up. Now, this one I still, there's still potential. Um, polka dots. How many polka dots? I would need four polka dots to, to get Tibbet. Um, I haven't seen this pattern, so let's just put this pattern out right there. I would need four of them to get Tibbet for that pattern as well. Oh, there's that pattern again. Ah, oh, I need that yellow line. I need the yellow line right there. So with that being said, what pattern am I missing? I need the yellow line right there. I need that pattern. I need this, this pattern over here. And it needs to be pink. I need all these things. Should have thought about it beforehand. Let's take this. Maybe I can get Tibbet going on, going on. Oh, you can't really see. I'll move it down a little bit. All right, so this and this. Oh, this is what I needed. But I need it in pink. So needy. So needy. Man. This is so hard. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm also missing two buttons. What am I? I'm missing the light blue button which i'm not getting at this point i'm not gonna get the rainbow button oh my goodness i'm not gonna get the rainbow button and i'm missing the pink button which is still possible i mean i suppose it's possible to get the the blue button if i placed blue and just said hey, it's gonna happen it's gonna be great <laughs> i guess you never know what i'm gonna pull from this bag so, oh, oh my gosh, oh. I could just say, oh, these are, this is like the worst. This is so bad. This is so, so bad. So very, very bad. I'm the worst solo gamer ever. Okay. I don't like any of these options. So I'm just going to do that. Just going to do that. Hopefully I find that yellow. Polka dots. Oh, fur. It's a fern. Oh, but I could get the button if I put it here. So I'll at least get almost all of my buttons. <laughs> all right. No. Oh, no, I need the little special spirally pattern that I just don't have. And I need it to be blue. 
to do a fern. Man, I just like usually not this bad. I was undefeated at this game, but just not not today. Oh, that's the pattern I needed. Okay, so not the right color, but that is the pattern that I needed. Oh my god. This is... Everything I do ruins everything else. So... Hmm. I do need the lines. I need the lines. So let's just at least score something. I need that line. Hello, Corsican. At least I'll get seven points for that. I don't think I'll even make the 58 points at this point. I am just... Oh, that's the symbol I needed. And it's the right color. All right. Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and find a pink tile. So nothing. So I will score something. Pink, pink, pink. Oh, man. You know how lucky that was? Not only do I get the pink button for it, but I also have four of lines. Oh, but that's not, it's not Tibbet. I thought that was Tibbet. It's not. I need five lines in order to get that patchwork. Okay. That's the game. I already I lost the scenario because I did not get the rainbow button. So it's an automatic fail. However, I'm still curious and I still want to score and see how I did. So let's see how it goes. I don't have a pen, so. I don't know why the score pad comes in a little like plastic wrap, but it does. So, so you know, if you get the game. Okay. Grab a pen. Oh my God, the, the wall behind me is going down. That happened, that happened one day on the stream. In case you missed it. <laughs> it's still very pretty. It's true. What? You counted my score for me? I got 53? So I didn't even get 58 points. Man. I was going to write it all down, Derek. So I got... I got 10 from Cats. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 buttons. So 6 times 3 is 18. And uh, from these... Right here, I got 7, 18, 24. I think I got less than what you said. Unless I'm missing something, which case. So I got 7, 18, yeah, 24. So. I got 52. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, no. 53 was the score to beat. Still very pretty. Well, so you got 53. I got 52. I got 52. I almost had an extra pattern with coconut, which would have been seven more points, so... I'm just glad I managed to even find the right patterns to score these goal tiles at all. Um, wow. <laughs> I got some work to do. I like, maybe I should play. Maybe I should play it again. I don't know. I want to play it again. Like, immediately. So the next one says, the next scenario says, Callie, Tibbet, and Coconut. We have similar but not the same scoring tiles. The goal is 59 or more points. And I will also need to do gain one, I would need, what is that? I think I need to gain five cats. 
Wow. I don't even know. I think that's what it is. It's it's five of any cat. I would need five cats. That's so hard. Do it. I got nowhere to be. Yeah, I got nowhere to be either. I got games to play and this is it. This is the, okay, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna do the next scenario. So if you're playing along, you can do the next scenario with me. Um, so I got this tile. A A A B B B and A A A B B C A A A B B C Oh my goodness. A bunch of these. A A A B B C. So instead of this one, it goes like that. These three tiles. Right. It's a mess. It's a mess. I'm going to try one more time. Maybe I'll actually win. This is scenario two, though. Um, wow, these tiles just stuck right in the board. Stuck right in the board. So Derek, if you actually were playing along, you get bragging rights because uh, you beat me. <laughs> uh. Okay, mixing them up really good. Okay, so now I also need the cat Callie. Here's the back of Millie. Yeah, I'm gonna mix these up. Not that it probably really matters at all, but. So my goal is I need five cats and 59 or more points. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be great. No, so the solo mode for the scenario one I needed 58. The first, the first scenario is 58, and this one is 59, so. Okay, so. Let's do that again. Mix these up a little bit. Okay, so. We have the same tiles basically for uh, the objectives, except uh, one of them turned to A A A B B C instead of A A B B C C. I have A A A B B C. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. And I don't have any button goals, so I don't need a rainbow button. I just need. 59 points and five cats. So I really need to focus on getting some of these cats out here. I'm gonna wanna try and do the easy ones. Oh, this means Callie. Let's see what Callie means. She's a new type. Callie, a group of the same pattern in this shape. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna need a group of these patterns in that shape okay should be easy enough right 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 oh I was gonna go there but automatically this one is like saying nope don't do it don't do it stuff don't do it where else is this pattern sure I'll put it here okay polka dots goes away All right, I need four more of this type. So where is that type? That's like over here. It's over here. It's over here. Sure, let's go over here. Cause I'm gonna want the same type over here. This goes away. No rainbow button. That is sad. It is sad. It is sad. 
Uh, okay. Definitely doing that. I get Cali Cat number one. Cali Cat. Woo, that's one, one of my five cats that I need. Oh, I need both of those tiles to make another set. So let's just, I'm going all in on these, these cats, because I know I need five of them. And the pattern just keeps showing up, so might as well, right? There it is. There's Cali Cat number two. Oh. They're both three points, so it's fine. That goes away. Slide them down, slide them down. Okay, buttons. These little, like, dots are, I would need five of them. I'm not looking towards that. I do like this one over here. I just need one more of that pattern over there. I love all the rainbow emotes. It makes me so happy. Um, all right, so I do need lines. I need lines in that pattern, which I can't do over here. I can't do over here. Wow, lines are not really great for me right now. This is not the board for lines. I could start doing this pattern somewhere else. Maybe I get one more right there. Ooh. Fern. Fern is not a good pattern. So let's go ahead, make the Cali Cat one more time. I don't think I'll be able to do the Cali Cat one more time after that. So that's three cats. Three cats. Now I have to like work on actually like getting a couple more cats. But also the hard part of actually scoring these center tiles here. Five of that pattern type is so hard. These are not great tiles, but might as well just place it. Oh, I actually was supposed to get a blueberry button over here. Didn't do it. Oh, lines. Yellow polka dots. Could go. Oh, no, I need the yellow. Yellow polka dots. Sure. Oh, this is, I don't need that anymore. I need this one, though. Now I got this cat, Tibbet, Tibbet. No, not that cat. This cat? No. Oh yeah, it's five points. Yep. Yeah. Whoo! All right, I need another cat. I don't know how I'm gonna get another cat. I need five ferns. It's like impossible. What else do you see? I could go for the ferns. I could. Yeah, it's like really not looking great. I need to do. I do need. Sure. Let's. Let's go for it. Put ferns around the edge of there. See, it might be too late, but 
Maybe I'll get lucky. No. Oh, I get a I get a button also. Coconut. So it's Callie and Tibbet that can only I can't make out the name of the kitty on top is Coconut. Yep. It's so cute. Um I do need this pattern. Now I got a pink button. You know, buttons still help. That will boost my score a little bit. I'll boost my score a little bit. Ah. Um. I almost have Tibbet, so I could, I need one more cat. That's like the problem I'm having right now, is that I need one more cat. I could just, I still need green and purple, but if I do, if I do this, that might give me Tibbet here, and I could say, you know what, maybe a purple... No. No, I don't like it. I don't like these tiles. No. Well, I do need this, I guess. So. So those are my three colors. I can still have one more pattern, but I'm going to need to find. Oh, there's a fern. Wasn't I working on ferns, too? There's the purple. Oh, this is this is what I need though. This is what I need. No. All right, I'm coming back to that. I'm coming back to that. I'm gonna do this over here. Try to set myself up for one more cat. One more cat. <laughs> Oh, no, this, this, this. There, I have four, so I get Tibbet, which is five points. Whew, okay, I screwed up that pattern building, but that's okay because I can still find a purple. I can still place a purple there. It's not gonna be great for this, but that's okay. This still works because I have three of that pattern and I um, have one polka dot and I could put two of something else, which would probably be ferns if I find ferns, like this lovely fern right there. Perfect. Now I need a blue fern. Polka dot or fern? Polka dot or fern? Okay, this one at least will get me that at least gets me a button oh I also have a button over here it's green gotta keep track of these things There's, yeah thank you thank you you actually said green button excellent so I'm a B Q I think it's that's really far away but thank you I, I just noticed it as soon as you told me it's also great um, that goes away. Come on, fern. I need two ferns. Fern, fern. Nope. I do need, I could use a button though. Button right there. I mean, not, but I keep saying button. They look like buttons. They're polka dots. So I did actually make that happen because I have three of that pattern, two of that pattern, and one of that pattern. And maybe I'll get one more fern in the final pull come on please 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 fern fern nope not even a dark blue which is what i needed um does anything help oh it actually does no i already got that cat i already got that cat for that pattern oh uh. Sadness and despair. 
So it doesn't... Womp, 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 womp. Okay. So, for my tiles, I did not make this one happen. I did make this happen for 7 points. And I did make this happen for 10 points. So I got 17 points. And the cat tokens is... I focused my whole game on getting the five cats, and it really took the entire game to do. So I get 19 points, and this is the game I needed, 59 points. And the buttons, I did collect some buttons for um, 15 points. So 20, 34, 44, it's not looking good, guys, not looking good, 51. Oh man, this game is hard on the scenario mode. <laughs> Maybe I just need to play better, which is sad because I'm usually pretty good at this game. I don't know what's going on. 51 and I needed 59, so I'm not really sure how I could have done a little better, but I knew I needed to, um, I knew I had to get those cat tokens if I wanted to even consider winning the scenario because you need five cat tokens in this scenario. So I was like, oh boy. Streamer's curse, exactly. Do much worse when you're streaming, I guess. <laughs> you always do worse when you have an audience. This is probably true. But um, before that, I beat, I, you know, I beat everybody else I've played against. <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe when you're playing with other people, they're they're drafting tiles differently. I saw some of the tiles I actually wanted to get discarded, but I didn't really have a choice. Maybe just uh, maybe I got luck of the draw for these tiles, but um, hopefully you enjoyed uh, Calico with me today. Let's see if I j jump back over here. I really love this game. I'm glad I got to play it a couple times. I think this will be one that I. If I have some time and, you know, at the end of a stream or, you know, there's just a game to play, this is a good one to play because it's easy to play and uh, it's very, it's it's really pretty. As many people were commenting, it's, it's a very beautiful game. It is very, very beautiful. So, I, I'm glad. Oh, thank you for following. Woohoo! I like, I like that little rainbow when it pops up and I actually catch it if it happened earlier and, and I missed you following. Well, thank you for following. Thank you all for subscribing and all this awesome things for supporting the channel. It's, it's what I love. I love playing games. I love talking about games. I love talking about games. And I love showing off games. And so this one, I just came in the mail this like yesterday. And so I was very excited. I've played it a few times and I wanted to make sure I should, I was able to show it off and I had some time today to play a solo game and, you know, this was a great opportunity uh, to show it off. So I would like to do some more solo playthroughs. You know, one day I'll get Feast for the Odin to the table because that's one that I just absolutely love. Um, don't you get 17 points for cat yellow-blue combination? Don't you get one seven seventeen points? One seven point for the yellow blue combination. Uh, yellow blue combination. Um, yeah, but I I didn't I didn't actually make it work. I needed one more fern. I need five. I needed um. Uh oh, this way. This, this cat needs five or more tiles of the fern. And I only got four. I only got four in that group. So I'll go back. I'll show you. So over here I got one, two, three, four ferns. So I never, I never got that fern combo that I was trying to get. I was really hopeful. I was really hopeful for that final fern. But it didn't come out in the last second. Um, yeah, so it's... And I, did, I definitely didn't get the polka dot one. So the seven point cat I just did not get. Um, it's sad. Because if, if that cat came out, I might have actually won. I needed five... 
you needed five same not combination. Oh, no, I just needed five cats in total. Thank you for following. Thank you, thank you. Um, you needed five in combination. Yeah, just any five cat tokens. As long as I made five cats happy with the patterns that they liked, I... And so I met that requirement, but I did not meet the requirement of 59 points. I only got 51 points. So um, these cats need specific patterns and um, formations sometimes. So like the Cali cat needed in this formation either of these patterns. And so I was able to do that pattern three times on my board uh, with, the, with this combination right there. I didn't do it with the lines at all, but I also did this cat twice, so I was able to get four of these, one of those, and then one of four of those. Do, 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 do. Um, so I was able to get five cats. I just didn't. I just didn't uh, get. I was so close to getting the seven-point cat, which actually would have really helped my score. It wouldn't have won me the game, but it would have got me a lot closer. <laughs> Uh, so that that's Calico and uh, really fun if you like puzzly type things I think this will work really well for even like non gamers because the concept is like super easy just like get colors and patterns and make it work on your board and just do as best the best you can um, so I, I think it will be I think it'll be a keeper for many people Nice job on the top 10 city building games video, by the way. Thank you, thank you. That was so much fun. I got to be on the Dice Tower the other day, and we talked about city building games, and that was, like, so much fun. Those guys are are, are pretty fun. They, I've had fun playing games with them in the past, um, so I, I've known them all for a while now, and they're, they're very nice guys. And so they invited me on the stream, and we got to talk about top 10 city building games, so that was, like, super fun. I am going to... So, but let me, let me close this down. Uh, this is Calico uh, from AEG and Flat Out Games. So you can check that out. It's now available. And um, thank you for joining and watching a couple of playthroughs of Calico. And um, I look for more solo games in the future. Hopefully I can stream whenever I have time uh, a new game for you to learn. Thanks, guys.